to my channel. Today's video is going to be a wedding haul. So as some of you may know, I am getting married next year, which is really exciting. It feels like it's just going so slow, but really fast at the same time. The countdown is taking forever, but then I also feel like time is going really, really fast. Like I feel like I have so much left to do. Anyway, I picked a couple of things up for like the decorative items for our wedding, and I thought that it would be useful to share with you because I kind of documented a little bit of our wedding process so far, and I thought that you might find it interesting to have a look at the sort of things that I've been picking up for our wedding. So I've been doing a lot of the typical pinning on Pinterest and looking through Instagram and saving photos and all of that sort of thing. And I've come up with a sort of theme that I want to go for, for the decorating of the barn that we're having our reception in. So we're getting married in a church, so there's not really too much that we can play around with design-wise with that. But the barn, we can pretty much decorate to how we want it to look. I'm going to stop rambling to the camera and show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing that I picked up were these Mr. and Mrs. signs and they basically go on the back of the chairs as you can see are from the picture they are from the brand ginger ray and i have already opened them because the first ones that i picked up from hobbycraft actually came snapped in three or four different pieces so they're just really simple i'm just going to tuck the string back where it should be. So these are just really simple wooden little signs as you can see. This is the Mrs one and they just hang on the back of the chairs which I just thought was a really really nice idea for photos. I just absolutely love them or you could hang them on anything else if you wanted to. I just plan on hanging them on the back of our chairs because we've gone for a really nice style chair. We're actually ordering them in specifically because it was the style that I really wanted. So that is the Mrs one and then I've got to be really careful with them because they're quite fragile. So bear that in mind if you plan on using these for hanging like outside or anything like that they're quite fragile so you have to be a little bit careful with them and then that is the mister one I just absolutely love them I don't know if I will spray them like white or gold I don't know really what I want to do with them or just keep them plain wooden the chairs that we've ordered are like a white lime wash so I'm just going to play around with what I think will look good with the chairs on the day and then I'll probably show you what they look like once they're finished if I decide to decorate them but I just think they're really cute and these were $7.99 and I just think that they're a really really nice addition to decorate our um, chairs. So for our tables I was thinking of doing long tables with chairs either side so that you can have like a really nice conversation with everybody at the table and then doing sort of long floral runners going along the centre of the tables and then decorating them in between with candles. So I picked up these from the range. These were a pound each, which I just think is absolutely amazing. And I would really highly recommend going to the range or having a look at the range online because their candles and wedding sort of like centerpiece decorations and things are so affordable. And these are just really, really gorgeous. They're like a crackled glass effect and they are classed as tea light holders. And I just think that really, really lovely. The fact that they're a pound each is amazing they're quite solid as well I don't feel like they will break anytime soon so the fact that they're just going to sit on the tables and look really pretty with lights in them I'm just really pleased with them so yeah I can even use these outside if I wanted to because of the fact that they're quite thick heavy glass so yeah I'm really pleased with them and it also means that I can use them around my house once the wedding is over I really wanted to keep in mind that obviously a lot of these decorations I'm not going to be able to use after the day whereas I thought that if I buy things like this it means that I'm not wasting too much money on things that I'm just going to have to get rid of or try and sell on again in the future I could reuse these in and around my house or I could give a couple to like my friends and family and they'll use them as well so I just really like these and I brought 10 of these in total I bought like the whole tray and it was £10 so I thought that that was absolutely amazing and I love them. For our reception we were thinking of having like a little entrance way in the barn when you basically go through the doors to get to the barn there's a small sort of square area where you can greet sort of like your guests and things and it means that you've also got a little place to pop on your easel for your table plan and just like decorate the area so that there's a nice little entrance way before you go into the barn and I was thinking of potentially doing like an old-fashioned sort of distressed ladder and I was decorating it with like little ornaments. I want to decorate it with photographs of my nan and granddad because we're actually getting married on the same day as my great nan and my great granddad got married on. So I feel like I really want to decorate that area with photos of them and just photos of family and pets and all of that sort of thing like I quite like the idea of including everybody in the day so I thought that I could do like a really nice ladder with really nice like ornaments and candles and that sort of thing so I picked up these little wooden 
paper mache things so they're like paper mache wooden letters and this is the mister and I also got the missus as well and they're quite a decent sized letter and I plan on probably painting them or decoupaging them glittering them I'm not really too sure again it's probably going to be the same sort of thing with the wooden mister and missus signs for the chairs I'll probably just play around with what I think looks good and then decide nearer the time what I think will go better with my table decorations and I think these are really a really good price I think I paid like a pound each for them it may have been about two pounds um, but I think they're really nice so yeah I picked up the mister and the missus and I'm planning on popping them on the ladder with um, all sort of all the photos and things and I was also contemplating on cutting little holes in them and getting some fairy lights because I mean they're hollow inside so I was thinking of getting um, some battery pack fairy lights cutting holes in them and then sort of feeding the lights through so they light up a little bit and we could also have them in the barn if we wanted to so I just thought that these were really really nice and I could always keep them in like our kitchen or anything afterwards so I just really really like this sort of thing it might not be to everybody's taste but I love the fact that we're going to be Mr and Mrs so I'm going to celebrate the fact that we will be as I said our reception is in a barn and it's a really gorgeous gorgeous old-fashioned wooden beam balm, barn, balm, I can't get my words out today, old-fashioned wooden bean, I can't talk, wooden beamed barn and it just means that obviously it has the sort of the timbered rafters in the ceiling so we can hang lovely decorations from them which I'm really really excited about I'm just really excited to decorate the barn I feel like it will just be really really personal and I can add like lots of personal things that I would really really love to have on a wedding day so I picked up some things that I can hang from the rafters and I picked up these from the hobby craft and these are honeycomb balls and I love the idea of having lots of different things hanging from the ceiling sort of like you'll see other bits that I've picked up I love the idea of having this sort of thing and I'm also thinking of picking up some of like the paper lantern light shades that you can get the ones that will pretty much match in with these they're like white see-through almost paper tissue lanterns and I'm really excited by the idea of having lots of things hanging from the ceiling so I picked up these and I think these were $6.99 and you get three in a packet and I just love the way that they look so yeah and then alongside the honeycomb lanterns I picked up these to have in between the ceiling with the other decorations as well and these are five pack of pom-poms and for any of you who are obsessed with Pinterest like I am I'm sure that you'll probably have seen these decorated on wedding venues and lots of things over Pinterest quite a lot and I just absolutely love the look of these along with the honeycomb sort of things and the paper lanterns I just think they'll look really really nice and I absolutely love white so I picked three packets of these up in white and they do like a multi-deal offer on Hobbycraft where you can get three packets for £12 I think and it just means that it works out a little bit cheaper these are 5 99 a packet so it just means you get a little bit of a saving if you plan on buying a lot of them so I'm quite excited to see how these turn out I don't think that they're too large I think they're quite sort of ones that are about that big um, but that's perfect because we've got quite a few of them and then it'll be quite nice because we'll have some of the smaller honeycomb things and then larger lanterns, larger honeycomb things so it should hopefully all balance out really nicely but I'm just really excited to see how these look in the barn it makes me really really happy to see that I can have sort of like my Pinterest wedding come to life so I really hope the way that I envision it it's going to turn out so yeah fingers crossed fingers crossed some more candle items now and these are absolutely gorgeous I love these so much they're really heavy I feel like I could do weights with these these are like silver mercury candle holders and in fact I so wish I had one of these like in the background of my videos I might have to take one out and test it out um, yeah so these are just silver mercury candle holders but they also come with the candle already in them which which is like a godsend for weddings because it then means that we don't have to constantly go and light them all the time and these are actually vanilla anise fragrant candles so I'll take off the sticker thing they're just like white vanilla candles so it means that the venue will smell really nice which makes me really really happy because even though it's in a barn like barns can smell quite musty and old and it probably will smell really nice because the food will be cooking in the background and all of that sort of thing um, I just thought it would be quite nice to be able to scent the venue a little bit and I love vanilla fragrances. They will make my venue smell really, really lovely. And I picked up how many of those? I picked up eight of those. So I'll just dot them around all over the place and on the tables in between sort of like our flowers and things. So yeah, these were $3.49 each, which I just think for a really large candle like this and with the candle inside is an amazing price. And again, I can use them after the wedding 
and I'll definitely keep these jars for afterwards because I just think they're so so lovely and yeah really nice affordable little candles for our wedding tables. I picked up some more little letters to go onto our little ladder that I plan on doing and these are just really tiny little dinky little ones and they spell out the word love which I will try and hold up I don't know how much I'm going to be able to hold up of this I don't know how good my balance is going to be with my hands let's see if I can do this I think I've managed to do it so you can get like a rough idea of what they would look like so they say love and I just plan on either having them sort of like this on the ladder or just spell out some way so that obviously you can see the love and I would also like to try and do like the little lights in these as well these might be a little bit more difficult because they're small but I will try and figure out a way of doing it if not I'll just like wrap some lights around it as well so yeah these are really really cute and I think that these were like four pounds so not at all expensive and I just think that they're just a nice little addition to add on to the decoration part from the range I picked up this hessian just married bunting and this is like the typical thing that you expect to see at weddings and in like barn style weddings and I just really really liked it I thought that it was quite nice that it was in like the natural hessian and I just thought it was nice that it was stamped with the white just married all over it so yeah this is the just married vintage white bunting and it says that it's three meters in length so it's quite large which is good because I plan on putting it in one of the windows in the barn and I picked this up from the range and it was 2 dollars so a really really good price and I just think that it will look really pretty in the window. I have these little blush foam roses which I've had for absolutely ages but I just popped them in the box so I'm probably going to find like a way of putting these on the ladder or something like just for decoration just to add on there and I picked these up from Hobbycraft for like £2 and they're just like really fun light foam roses so I'm just going to use those to style up the ladder. Um, I was going to throw them in the bin because I haven't used them for such a long time and I thought actually they could be quite nice to look good on decorating the ladder so yeah I know that you can still pick these up because I saw them the other day so yeah if you're looking for some like really pretty little fake flowers the Hobbycraft range is quite nice so yeah just thought I'd show you those as well. Another thing that I picked up from Hobbycraft and from the brand Ginger Ray is this photo booth prop set and we are thinking of doing like our own photo booth. We did actually win a competition at our venue when we went to our open day to win a photo booth set sort of thing but you only got like a certain amount off and I think it's going to be quite expensive. I did not realise how expensive photo booths were and it was one thing when we tried it on the day I was so desperate to win the competition um, because it was amazing like honestly it's absolutely incredible. We're just kind of toying around with the idea whether or not we'll still go for it but if not I picked this up because it was just a nice little addition to add on to the day even if we do get the photo booth we can use this as well um, but I thought of maybe potentially building like my own photo booth and I've got an idea of something that I would really really like to do and I thought that these would look quite nice just for props and things so this is a set from Ginger Ray and it's just the photo booth prop set and it looks like this so you get a pair of like funky glasses a little floral bow tie champagne little um champagne glass with flowers a bouquet of flowers a hat some more glasses moustaches um, a little card that says best day ever and then another arrow that says strike a pose I just thought that these would be quite fun for guests to play around with and take photos and it means we've got some quite fun photos from the day and I absolutely love the ginger ray stuff like there's some really lovely pieces there's a couple of other sets of photo booth props that they do so if I do decide to go down the route of doing our own one I'll probably pick those up as well um, just because it means that there's quite a fun selection of little props that they can use and I just think it will make nice photos so this was £12 from Hobbycraft and the last thing that I picked up which you may potentially see your reflection in the background but it's just a really lovely grey sort of like painted mirror sill range which I know that you can get this online because I found um, some of their stuff online before and I picked this up from Jeremy home store for £12.99 and I actually plan on using this to do my table plan. I was thinking of getting some like markers and using this to draw out where everybody sits. I don't know if this is going to be too small. When I first picked it up I thought it would be a really good size because we're not having a huge um, wedding breakfast but it depends how much I can fit onto here whether or not my handwriting is going to be too big because it's actually not the biggest of mirrors but I thought that I could use this on the top of the ladder and instead of getting like a really big table plan or making one, I could use this sort of like propped up on the top of the ladder. Everybody could look at the photos and all of the other little things that I've put on there. And then at the top of it, they'll see where they need to sit. Um, but yeah, I need to play around with how good my handwriting is going to be and that sort of thing. And yeah, I don't know if this is going to fit. If it doesn't, then I just figured that I'd use it at home because I would use this sort of thing at my house anyway. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up for my little wedding decoration haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sure that 
that I will include much, much more decoration videos throughout my channel because I'm really loving all of the wedding sort of thing. And I was also thinking, I'd like to get your feedback on this, of doing like a talk through my Pinterest board video. I just thought that it would be quite interesting for you to see sort of like the idea behind all of the decorations and what I'm sort of thinking of the styles that I like. And I just thought it'd be quite fun to go through my Pinterest boards with you. But please do let me know if that is something that you would like to see because I'd really like to film it. I just don't know whether or not you'd actually like to watch that sort of thing. Please do let me know if that is something that you would like to see. And also please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up whilst you're here because obviously it really helps me out if you do. And it means that it shares my videos with all of the other people on YouTube so they get to see my wedding stuff if they would like to see it as well. And also whilst you're over here, please subscribe to my channel as well. I am so thankful for the fact that I've hit 1,600 subscribers. Thank you so much for everybody who has subscribed already. I've got quite a few new faces over here. So I hope that you are loving the content that I'm putting out and I will hopefully see you all again soon. Bye guys. This is when I give or I give.